Hello everybody, I think I finally got this thing down. This is like my fifth try. And after each fight going almost to the end, I think I finally figured it out. Okay, what I found out, the secret that I found out pretty much, is tactical view. Yes, this is amazing. So I killed Cardin. I finally did it. And the reason I did is this move right here. Cone of Cold. It freezes golems. So, what I do is the, all these lyrium things all around the ground here. Oh darn. Run, 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 run. They help mages a lot. So, like, my healer, whenever my healer gets out of mana, and we don't have any lyrium potions around, which I have lyrium potions. Thank goodness. This is the end of the fight. Yeah. We did it. So I froze this guy until I couldn't do anything else. Heavy plate armor. That's okay. Cardin's shield. That's pretty good. Cardin's cage. That's pretty good. Let's take it all. And let's go get some items. Okay, jeez. Oh, I can't do that yet. What just happened? Speak to Bronca. No. It was like, don't go up there yet. Talk to the dwar dwarf thing. Here so it is! The anvil of the void! So sweet! Such power! You found the anvil. Are you happy now? Maybe we could go back to Orzammar, share the good news. Look at it. It was worth it. All of it. The anvil is everything I thought it would be. That's good. I... I should have known. I thought that once you had the anvil, you'd be satisfied. Perhaps I could use it now. A reward for defeating Caradon. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? Whoa, I could turn Ogren into a golem? I don't think so. Um... A Paragon's crown. They simply must accept that. Then stand aside and I shall forge it for you. Take it to whomever you please. Finally! Oh, man. So after like the fourth final boss of the chapter, we finally get to this part. The, this is probably the last part of this chapter, I hope. And if not, it's the second to last. Sorry this was so long. lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It'll take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. Just remember to keep your end of the bargain. Once Orzammar settles on its petty king, have him send for me. When next you lead your armies against the Archdemon, they will be shielded by a tide of steel men. Yes. This makes you happy, Bronca. I don't think you understand what it costs to get you here. Oh, stuff a rag in it, Ogren. Move on. Find a few whores. Sodding stone, I never thought you'd be the pining type. Now be gone. Wow. Such a charmer. Well, I've never actually done that before. I'm gonna go steal that chest now. Please. Yay. So, yeah, this is pretty much useless, but whatever. I'm going to go look at the Anvil of the Void, get the Codex, I'm sure. Continue. Anvil glows like liquid metal from the Lyrium vein through it, but dark stains attest to its bloody past. 
It is built straight out of the stone of the floor. Trying to move it would require years to chip away at its base. Okay. Well, I can't believe I finally did that. But let's see. What's the stone golem have? Okay. What? Let's destroy that. Pick up that. There you go. I wonder if it'll let us fast travel all the way back to uh, Orzammar. I, I guess so. you both got what you wanted. Hope it was worth the cost. We should get back to the city now. Share the news. To the assembly. They need to know as soon as possible. Yeah, those Deshiers have been trying to destroy the city for years. Haven't managed yet. Let's go back to Orzmar. And I hope we don't get into a fight on the way back. I doubt we would. Oh, man. So, this is like the third dungeon of this chapter as well. I mean, I can't believe how long this chapter is. I don't remember it being this long. But, then again, I was doing this over Christmas break, so I had, like, no life for the week that I did this game anyways. Lords of the Assembly, I call for order! This argument gets us nowhere. Oh, yeah. Then why these delaying tactics? I call for a vote right now! My father has one living child to assume the Idukan throne. Who would deny him that? Your father made me swear on his deathbed you would not succeed him. I apologize for the interruption, Lord Stewart, but the Grey Warden has returned. We should let the Warden speak. What news do you bring? I bear a crown from Paragon Branca for her chosen king. Branca still lives. Though she's mad as a nug at a tanner shop, <laughs> she finally found the Anvil of the Void and chose to stay in the deep to work it. She tasked this Grey Warden to give her crown to Orzammar's next king, chosen by the ancestors as a first in a millennium to lead a Golem army against a Blight. And we are supposed to trust this, the word of a drunken sot in a murdering exile known to be in Harrowmont's pocket. Silence! Then tell us, Grey Warden, which king did Paragon Branca endorse? Branca chose Harrowmont. I appreciate your forthrightness, Warden. You have acted with grace through this entire torturous process. Oh, wait a second. Good. Okay, never mind. I thought we were gonna, like, get attacked by my brother. It's weird, it looks like they're almost dwarf mages, but I know they aren't mages. This is pretty awesome. Let the memories find you worthy. First amidst the lords of the houses, the king of Osman. It's a pretty crazy crown. I will not abide by this! Oh, great. The ancestors have spoken! Stand down, Balin. You've lost. You turned your back on Orzammar when you killed our brother. Watch out! They brought weapons! Guards! I sense a change. Of course. It can't just be easy.
my brother. Yeah. Amazing. Inventory full. No. Okay, this is a lyrium potion. The, if you don't have room in your backpack for a lyrium potion, something's wrong. I admit I did not think even Balin would defy the word of a paragon, nor that so many would follow him. But most of Orzammar has seen him for what he really is, and I trust we will bring this insurgency under control. I have faith in you, King Hermont. Your father would be proud of what you did today. More than for my crown, I thank you for aiding Branca's recovery of our greatest treasure. With the anvil in our hands, I need risk no dwarven lives to counter this blight. I will send Branca whatever she needs to forge a golem army. When you face the Archdemon Warden, it will be with stone giants at your back, not mere men. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must get to the palace and set our plans in motion. And I must return to my duties on the surface. This is the staff I carried as King Endrin's second. Take it as a reminder of your place in Orzammar. I wish you luck against the Blight Warden. May we foster another four centuries of peace. Your role in this Sweet. Okay, well that is the end of this chapter Finally, let's look at the staff he gave us, though. Hermont staff for a mage. That's pretty terrible, but okay. And I will see you guys in the next chapter, which is the lands meet. I can't wait, but it's going to have to wait until tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching.